Welcome back to Houston Life. It's been called one of the most remarkable shows in musical theater history, winning the Tony, the Grammy, and drawing worldwide acclaim for its powerful message. Yeah, Dear Evan Hansen started its national tour here in Houston this week and joining us now with more on this beloved musical, Michael Fabish, who plays the title role, Evan Hansen, and Brie Cade, who plays Heidi Hansen, Evan's mother in the show. Welcome to you both. Congrats on the gig, the tour, all of it. Uh, Michael, you recently graduated from the University of Michigan, so this is your first national tour. This is my first professional production ever. H how are you feeling about it? It's, it's, it's a dream come true. Like, I can't even imagine a better situation to be in. Like, get right out of college, my dream, a dream role um, with amazing people. <laughs> like, it's just that. Uh, I can't even I can't even fathom how lucky I am. To the be. timing <laughs> is incredible, really? and I feel like even though I haven't seen this production of Dear Evan Hansen, I know you play the role very very well. Uh, Bree, you play his mother in the show. Talk to viewers who are unfamiliar with the storyline. This this is an intense show. It talks about isolation, finding oneself, helping other people find themselves, and there there's an underlying theme of great loss in this in this play. Oh yeah, I mean, it really deals with connection and just trying to fit in. Um, there's a great message of hope. I feel like everyone can relate to the show. Anyone can see themselves in one of these characters or situations, which is, is really beautiful and touching. So we were kind of talking about there are two camps of people who either love this play, know how important it is, or they say, I've never even heard of that Broadway show. But the story, as you say, can be appreciated from both angles since, you know, it's like a young person's perspective, their parents' perspective, which when you're on either side of those, it's not always easy. So what are you learning about yourselves as you're playing these critical roles? I think I'm learning how important connection is. I mean, the, the whole show centers on connecting with people and how important it is to connect with people. And it's really hit home to me how, in, how important it is to just reach out to the people around you. Yeah, um, yeah it's been, it's incredible. Well, and for, for people who have felt alone or isolated, I mean, that really, the role of Evan, Evan is a high school student who always feels like he's on the outside looking in. You'll hear that um, phrase quoted in the songs. And what has the feedback been so far for audiences who see the show? Because, um, you know, it talks about death. It talks about a high school student who takes his own life and, and brokenhearted parents. That's got to hit home for a lot of people. Yeah, I've had a lot of people come up to me and be like, this show means so much to me and it's, it means a lot that you were able to bring this to my, my town and that you were able to tell this story. And I've had people, you know, cry and, and ask for hugs and, you know, it's, it's really touching to see that the story hits home. I mean, it hits home to me and, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel so lucky to be able to tell a story that I feel so passionate about and I feel so, uh, such a kinship to. Yeah. And so it's so nice to be able to see that other people feel the same way. And... Bree, you play Heidi Hansen, who is Evan's mom. Um, what has been your experience with the role? What are the important messages that you're feeling and seeing that other people are responding to? Yeah, um, even just to go off what Michael was saying, last night a, a man and his daughter came to the show and came up to me and said, oh, I was so looking forward to, There's a, I don't want to give anything away, but a scene in the show and a, a great song about just how everything's gonna be okay and you know, talking to your children and having these conversations and trying to connect. It's not just about the young person's perspective but also the parent and Absolutely. just being there for your kid. And he said, I remember when the house felt so big too. And it was just very touching to hear that. Yeah. And so relevant in the age of social media when you know everybody is affected by social media, whether you're on it or not. Let's talk about the tour, because Houston is the first stop. There are 80 some odd cities <laughs> yeah. you will be stopping in. Yeah. More than 80 <laughs> cities. Wow. Okay, so buckle up. Are you ready for this? Oh my God, it's so crazy. I look at them, we have like a map of the, all the stops and I just like look at all the pins and I'm like, oh! Yeah. Bree told me before yeah. the show that that she thought she woke up in Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> you are in Houston. It, 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 it's okay. <laughs> but life on the road, this is not glamorous. You're living in hotel rooms. I mean, you have to keep your body, your instrument in tip top shape. You still have rehearsals. Yeah. yeah. You have to keep your voice in check. Oh, yeah. So, what is that like in terms of your nightly bedtime? Your routine. Your routine. <laughs> it's a lot of tea. <laughs> a lot of a lot of vocal rest. You don't like if you you don't want to go partying or you know you gotta keep your you gotta you, be you gotta, good. Yeah, you gotta keep your instrument healthy. You know, um, it's basically you know 
The other pe people have like physical instruments where they have to clean it and upkeep, but you know, we have internal instruments that we just have to keep you know, clean and healthy. Yeah, lots of rest. Yeah. Not, not so much talking when you can avoid it. It's hard, yeah. but okay. oh. what you well, gotta do. Real quick, talk and tell people why yeah. they should go. <laughs> real, just real quick, we're, we're, we gotta wrap up. We could spend all day with you guys. Oh my why gosh. Why should people see this show? You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll yeah. just so many emotions and you can just relate to something in the show. There's something for everybody. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a show that connects to everybody. Everyone will find something in the show that connects with them. And Michael is? Astounding oh, as ever. Shucks. He's fabulous. Thank well, he's, he's your son. See. You have to say that. <laughs> I would say it even if he wasn't. He's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And Thank you can you. tell you both like each other. Very important to have yes. a tight knit Aww, cast. Honey. Uh, Ricky, Michael, <laughs> congratulations once again. Thank, Thank you, you so you much for having both. us. Yep. And we did just have the ticketing information on our screen. You can catch Dear Evan Hansen on stage right now through September 22nd downtown at Theater Under the Stars at Hobby Center for a link to find tickets and learn more about the show. You can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. You know the drill. Just look for that scene on Houston Life section. All right, awesome. Go check it out.